Hey guys, it's Rick. I'm back for another AFI Top 100 Film Challenge video where I'm watching all 100 films in the original AFI list released in 1998 in a single calendar year. And last night I watched number 91, My Fair Lady. Now, musicals are normally the bane of my existence. I am not a big fan of them. There's very few that I actually enjoy. But this has got one thing that all those other musicals didn't have that I didn't like. It's Audrey Hepburn, which is just an absolutely fantastic, fantastic actress, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, my Fair Lady clocks in at 170 minutes, directed by George Cukor, released on October 21st in 1964. At the time, it was the most expensive film ever made with $17 million and the budget paid off it made over 74 million at the box office uh it stars audrey hepburn as eliza doolittle rex harrison as henry higgins stanley holloway as uh, eliza's father and the gist of the film it's about a cockney girl taken in by a professor who says he can turn her into a lady make her speak politely dress the part he's gonna do it he's got six months to do it and then show her off. Uh, a lot of memorable songs. Uh, it's a, like it's a long movie at 170 minutes, but uh, and it it really for to be as long as it did, it didn't feel like it. It flew by, and I never thought about it because I was actually engaged in the film. The acting is great. Audrey Hepburn, I think, pulled off the Cockney part very well. I was really shocked at how she did it. I saw this years ago in high school. And this is the second time I've seen it now, and I was impressed by, you know, some of the things I remembered, some of the, uh, like I said, some of the songs, like just a little bit, for example. Um, it ended up being nominated for twelve Academy Awards, and it won eight of them. It won for Best Picture, Director, Actor for Rex Harrison, Art Direction, Cinematography, Costume Design, Best Sound, Best Score. Audrey didn't get a single award. Now, the interesting thing about this is she some of her songs she was dubbed they didn't they didn't think her voice was the right pitch for some of the songs especially singing as eliza's character before she becomes you know a uh almost like a princess in a way and that had really broke her heart but i mean she did get to sing a, a, a couple songs but it wasn't but because, like I said, most things were dubbed, and, you know, I hate hearing that. And I've heard her voice, and I think it sounded fine. So I don't know why that was decided. Uh, Julie Andrews was actually uh, was originally mentioned for this role, role because she had originated the play in Broadway. And the Broadway play was actually based on a 1913 play named, named Big Million. But uh, they didn't think Julie Andrews was right for the role, because they didn't want to take a chance on a stage actress. They did it for Rex Harrison, which is weird. But I mean, but he had, had acted before, but for Julie Andrews, it, they just didn't feel comfortable. Ironically, that same year, she ends up winning Best Actress for Mary Poppins. And poor Audrey, not, a, not even a nomination. But, uh, you know, as far as musical goes, I'd say this is right up there as a, as a favorite. I will eventually upgrade this to, to a 4K release. For My Fair Lady, you know, is a good one and I'll watch it again alright guys I will link a trailer down below so you can check it out and as always go watch a movie